Hey everyone, okay, so today we're going to do my everyday makeup routine. Um, I'm going to make this the back to school version. It's the same exact thing that I do every day, just I want to make it the back to school. So the first thing we're going to start with is my beauty lotion. Uh, Olay also makes this. I got the Quate one because when I first got it, I've had this for a while, but when I first got it, it was like really expensive. So what I do is I kind of put it all over my face and then I moisturize it in. I make sure I get everywhere. Um... I focus more on to the cheeks, more to my T-zone because I get really oily there so I have to concentrate right there. Um, I don't get oily when I, like I do, but when I sweat, I start oil, like getting oil. I don't know. It's a confusing process to explain. So next, I'm using my Clinique Happy Cool and Shimmer and Gel. And this stuff is absolutely a lifesaver as a primer and a highlighter. How much, that's actually a little too much, so we're going to put a little back. Um, that's how much you need. You don't need a lot at all. Rub it against six, these six fingers, as you can see, and pat it in. The only reason I pat is because it's really shimmery, and I'll show you why after. And what I like, it goes through your foundation, so it's kind of like... Alright, hold on. Do you see how much shimmer is left on my fingers? That's disgusting. That would have been all over my face. So now my face is not, not too shimmery, but it's perfect. Before I even start my makeup, I'm going to put some EOS on um, to moisturize my lips. You'll see me put this on in the middle of my video. Okay, so first what we're going to do is start with a pale foundation. I really don't think this has anything left, but we will work with it. This is the CoverGirl Clean Makeup. I usually use a pale one for a primer if I don't use a primer, but again, like I said, I will do my everyday makeup routine because I do do this every day. So there's like nothing left and I'm trying to get stuff out. It would probably be better if I put it on my hand, right? Am I right, girl? Okay, so what we're going to do is simply just like, alright, I usually apply it with my brush, but there's like nothing left, so that's kind of hard to do. Wow, there's like nothing left. Yeah, there's like, mm, gonzo, nonzo <laughs> left. I'm sorry, this is difficult because you were trying to work with an empty bra roll and it really doesn't work, so, yeah. Then what I do is I grab my little brush, and this is the powder brush from the Flirt Collection. And all I do is I just simply kind of pat it in at first, and then I rub it in. Um... Everybody's like, why do you use a stipple brush? A stipple brush never worked for me. It made me look really blotchy. So personally, I don't like stipple and brushes. So what I do is I grab a mirror, and I still have blotty all over my face. So then I gut it, and I just go like this. Sorry if you're not going to see me for a minute. I actually need to get my... Um, it's a towel. It's right. Ooh, okay. It's just a towel I need. And you'll see in a minute why. Okay. Now, to pat everything else in, I'm going to kind of go like that. And blend it in with my hairline. I'm trying to go slow so you guys can kind of understand. I usually go faster. Like, this is kind of the same routine as the um, no mirror challenge. So. And all I do is I kind of look and.
warm them up. It seems really weird, but your hands are not warm enough, so warm them up and go like that. And you will see how much makeup comes off on your hands. Like, I'm going to rub it in one spot, and I'll show you guys. Look, that's just what I just did. All right, so now we're going to grab a new spot, as you guys can see. All right. And blow it. And I promise you I'm not taking off all my makeup. Look, that's all the extra on there because I still have enough covers, so. Yay! Okay, this is going to be a really long video. I can tell already. <laughs> now, after that, um, I'm going to work with my concealer. I know you guys are like, you just did it totally opposite. No, I did not. If you want to do your own makeup, then go ahead. I do this side different because I'm darker on this side. But if you want me to do the same, that's okay. So then what I grab is my lighter. Do you remember this brush? I'm going to grab that and blend. And then I'm just going to grab a foundation brush to kind of blend a little more. I like using a foundation brush personally for concealer because it blends in better. So let's blend that in. Perfect. So now to set my powder on uh, my foundation, I'm going to use a colored to cover up anything else that I really need to add a little more color. But before that, to reduce all my redness, we are going to actually use my Elf Complexion Perfection, and I've hit major pan on this. And it just turns into a translucent color, and I really like this. And we're not going to put a lot of this. We're only going to put a little. And the only reason is because we are going to put some colored on. So you don't want to look like a uh, caked mess. So try to focus on everywhere that you get oily. Um... Or more red with that. This is what we're going to use for oily. Um, this has a little more color. So if you missed anywhere, you can kind of color it up. <laughs> you get a color instead of color. I don't know if that was lame, but okay. And then what I do so I don't look too cakey is I just go around my whole face just doing this. Kind of swirl it in. Pretty simple, huh? I'm, again, like I said, I'm trying to go a little slower so you guys can really see. Now, I, like I said, I'm, you're going to see me keep my lips moisturized through the whole out video or the whole video. Um, so, eel west again. And I have a reason for that, and I'll tell you at the end. Um, now we're going to go to blush, bl blush and bronzer. Um, this is in blushed bronzed. I'm using my Equal Tools flat fluffy brush. So, blush. I know my cheeks are already red enough, but I like having that more of a uh, makeup cheek look. I don't know why, because I don't like my natural cheeks. They are too red and rosy. See, this makes it actually look pretty nice, at least I think. So, yeah. Um, when I'm doing my bronzer, I can actually talk. Um, tell me if you've been liking my quality of my videos. Look how much bronzer and look how dark it's going to be. See that? Um, tell me if you like the quality of my videos lately. I've been trying really hard to film with this camera if you don't like it. Um, or you want the other one, even though the other one I think it sucked. Um, personally. But the only reason is because... This one's a little harder to film with, like, throughout the week because my dad uses it. So, not for, like, making YouTube videos. That's weird. But he just, like, uses it. So, I will have to use it. I try to get it once in a while. And I filmed those three videos not in one day. I promise you I did not just go change shirts. There we go. Um, I filmed in different days, like I was saying. <laughs> I never finished that. So, I contoured everywhere. Huh? 
her. <laughs> and that was weird. But we're going to put everything back so I can kind of keep organized. Um, now we are going to highlight my face real quick. Um, it's, I don't know which one to use. I usually use that silver, but I guess we can use a different color. We're going to mix the silver and the this one, that one, and that one right there mixed together. And we're going to see how it looks. There we go. Now people ask me why I put so much like shimmer on and it's because you really want your face to stand out instead of your face just being flat. You do, you don't want the oily look, but you do want a little shimmer. Um, the only, oh my God, it's so hot in my room. The only reason is because you don't want to look like you have just a plain face. So you really want to have these parts lit up, I call it. Now my camera brings out a lot more shimmer than it looks in person, so. I like blended it in with this brush and you see how much more it blends in. Like that, so I really like that. Okay, now we can move on. <laughs> um, now we are gonna move on to, dun 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 dun, eye eyes. <laughs> I told you it's a quick and easy look. Oh my god, what just happened? Okay, there we go. I was moving around too much, I'm sorry. Um, now we're gonna go to my eyes. But before we do that, let's go on to my eyebrows. Um, I actually forgot my setting gel up there, so should I go get it real quick? Because this is like really embarrassing. Like not having it, so. I will still talk to y'all, Um, My setting gel, I have to use the... You guys are like, oh my god, I cannot believe she just got up in the middle of the video. Um, but we're doing my eyebrows right now, so I'm going to use my FYI Angled Eyeliner Brush. Don't tell me I left it up there now. <laughs> oh, my Jen Michelle Eyeshadow Quad, and I just like to use it for my eyebrows. I mix all the colors but the white together. I mix more of the one that I hit pan on. And... I don't like them too dark. I just like film them in because I have some parts of my eyebrows I don't like. Like the beginning. My arch I like to work on. So just like that. And I like to make them even. That's one of my pet peeves. Don't have one eyebrow darker than the other. Um, then what I do is I brush them out. And if there's any extra left over, I go like that. Set in gel. I need a new one, I know. And set the eyebrows. I know I need my eyebrows waxed. So don't be like, oh my god, your eyebrows are so jacked up. I know I need them waxed. I'll get them waxed uh, sometime next week, I think. I'm not sure. Then what I do is I grab my spoolie again and brush it out, just like that. My eyebrows are really simple compared to everybody else, so. Next we're going to go to my eyelid primer in a sheer, my e.l.f. one, and I usually don't do this, but I kind of want to make that for my, whoa, you can see on top of my eyelid, that's sick, bro. I can see that clump right there on my eyelashes. So yeah, I'm, I was trying to make it all for like one eye, but it really did not work. Well, wow, it's gonna bug the crap out of me. Got it. Somewhat, it would work. All right, so that's gonna bother me a lot. I'm sorry, I get bothered by the stupidest things. Um, I put actually a little too much on, but it's fine because you cannot prime too much. And like I do, I always check my 
eyelid for extra primer. I'm gonna brush over that. Kind of blended in, so yeah. Now for my eyes, we're just gonna stay zoomed in, and we are gonna use the L'Oreal Single Eyeshadow Quad or Quad. What am I saying? Single Shadow in eight o eight twenty Golden Sunset, and the Quad now. No, never mind. Um, yeah, Quad. Sorry, I, oh, I'm losing it today. And Butternut. This is the Elf one. So. I'm going to grab my Equal Tools brush and mix the L'Oreal one with the enough eyeshadow. And I double sided it. So Then I will mix these color. And I'm only going to be using these two colors. This one I'm going to mix and then that one's my crease. So I'm not going to show every little second. So Y'all Z's understand. You know what I mean. So we're just gonna grab it and place it all over my lid. And I do this step um, about two to three times. Like, not multiple times, just like mixing it together wise. And mix them together and go to the other eye. Now, they're going to be a lot more vibrant than they look like because of the primer. Is that good enough? I think it is. So now what we're going to do is grab a blending brush in my crease brush. So we need to blend it in a crease and blend out this color to make it a little lighter and blend out the color. So now we're going to grab this crease color right there, the darkest one out of all of them, and swirl it around in there. And all we're going to do is grab my crease. And you see how I was twisting it? I twist it to like start out and then I dab it all the way down. Pretty simple, right? So let's stay on this eye real quick and just do that. Um, I gotta blend it out, yeah, I know. So we're just gonna stay on the same path. You see that? Yeah, you guys are like, oh my god, it looks like a wreck. And just blend it in with your other eyeshadow. Well, I don't think my eyes look too dark. And I love neutral eyeshadows. Like, I don't know how people can wear like blues and pinks and all that. Or even smoky eye. I think it's too dark. And I love it, I think. That was funny. I love it, so I think. So let's zoom out. And EOS again. Okay. Now before we do any other step, now we're moving on to more of the lips side. So we're just gonna put a minty gloss on it to make my lips a little more healthier to give it a more more glow to it so now we are gonna go to the eyeliner um i don't do mascara i usually do mascara first but we're not gonna do it today we're gonna do eyeliner first okay yeah i need a mad mirror for this not like never mind i'm confusing y'all okay so if you guys can see me i'm gonna sit right here and do it like this hey i see y'all
So now back to the eyeliner. I know you're gonna be like, oh my god, more eyeliner. <laughs> um, no, but well, yeah, more eyeliner, but. Just right there on the outside corner. Just right there, so it looks like I kind of have a wing eyeliner. So, well, not right there, that's my eyelashes. Now we can move on to my lips, 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 lips. If I want to do lower, I can just use my NYC, but I don't think I'm going to do that today, so we're just going to put another coat over and. Lightly on my bottom lashes. All right, now for my lips, we can use my finger if I want to, or a liner brush. People are like, oh my god, please make sure that has nothing on it. And I'm like, believe me, girl. I'm gonna lower my camera so we can get to my lips. There we go, and let's zoom in. We're gonna grab a flat liner brush and. I'll call painted it on. This is my Elf Condition Lip Balm and SPF 15 in Mellow Melon. me look quickie. I just go like this with my kabuki brush and just kind of rub it all off. So yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, then ask me. Um, if you have any video request, request. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys later. Bye.